Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your opinions in the comment section below. Please, please and please subscribe if you haven't. This is a channel that you need to be plugged on to. If you are not getting your news from Newsroom Nigeria, please, where else? Where else are you getting your news from? This is the where you can get the most reliable and authentic news from. So join this community we have here. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. We won't give up until Peter Obi is expelled from Labour Party, Arabambi. The Labour Party faction, Luyu to Lamidia Papa, has vowed to stop at nothing on, until the party's 2023 presidential candidate, Peter Obi, is expelled from the party. The faction accused Peter Obi of giving support to the Julius Abure faction even when the court had sacked him from office as the Labour Party national chairman. It accused the Labour Party presidential candidate of betraying the party and weakening it by giving support to Julius Abure. According to a statement on Tuesday by the National Publicity Secretary of our Papa faction, Abayomi Arabambi, they won't re rest until Obi, who he described as a temporary presidential candidate, is dismissed from the party. The faction vowed that we in Labour Party shall continue this Obi political war unabated till we see his dismissal from Labour Party. The statement also comes as a direct response to a statement by the spokesperson of the OB Dati campaign organization, Yunusa Tanko, who defended the alleged discrepancies in Peter OB's certificates. <laughs> as per Tinubu has discrepancies in his own certificates, so now all the other presidential candidates they have <laughs> they have come under a micro microscope you know people have been you know checking their their own certificates as well to prove whether their certificate is authentic or not <laughs> arabambi slammed tanko saying he is a greedy person who is only after the benefits he can get from those is following labor party chose to freely advise yunusa tanko to find time to lie down and do a serious thinking about his enslaved life which has kept as which has kept exposing him to a stupid acquisition of mr peter b8 for other tribes religion and the other obvious reasons of waiting a good job tanko is a sorry victim of greed and corrupted mind that are common to all in the money for money for hand back for grand colony of a political slaves and since these was his portion in life as determined by his indolence all we can say is that he is welcome to the life he has willingly chosen meanwhile it is to the eternal shame of these political goliaths that every one of their negative moves to commercialize Labour Party all along 
and in every turn been recording and in every turn been recording failures including those tamed and very weak puppets in the obedient family it is a wholesome embarrassment to these ever porting ever migrating political nomads from ap abga p to pdp and now labor party which many wrongly see as leaders but who in truth as leaders are empty and morally dead because of their wanton lack of human resources and administrative managerial capacities it is peculiar it is a peculiar shame to mr peter ob the temporary labor party presidential candidate that all their joint investment in the objectives of weakening labor party crashes in their evil faces so much embarrassingly it is quite exciting to once again assure the public that the era of cash and carry politics is behind many and most of us in the political field of nigeria the statement added you all let me have your thoughts and opinions in the comment section i don't know i don't know when when this crisis within the labor party is going to end i don't know when all this back and forth is going to end you know and we, we just don't know you know probably before the next election probably they are going to be able to squash their beef but as it is <laughs> lamedia papa is claiming to be the chairman we have julius saburi on the other hand who is also claiming to be the chairman only god knows you know what is going to happen last last and then we have the supporters of julius saburi on one hand we also have the supporters of um let me tell papa on the other hand i just know for sure that for peter will be to be able to make this kind of impact that he made in the last election or anything close to it it has to come from you know in united front and if labor party is not united we saw how that affected article in the last election how the g5 who are a member of the pdp internationally worked against article the intention if you minus their state from the elect the the votes that the uh, article got or if you had if you had their state to the votes that article had gotten probably at article might have won the election nobody knows but when a party is not united when there is crisis within a party it weakens it weakens them and there's no how it's going to affect their, their performance in the election you all let me have your thoughts in the comment section thank you very much for always listening and watching i will see you all in my next video bye for now